fuck to remember the this song. Fuck. The swag is on a thousand. It's actually just shit on my last chick, and she has got my ex Lex. Is your mom half Canadian? Yeah, her. What the fuck? How do you know this shit? Yeah, my mom's mixed. Yo, shit. What the fuck? You with the, you with the feds, nigga? <laughs> Motherfucking chain. <laughs> a chain. And I was thinking, Mr. Ferg, chains. You make the chains. Oh, shh. That's good he know that. That was so long ago. <laughs> yeah, I used to make chains. I used to make jewelry. <laughs> and I guess I was curious, ASAP, what is the importance of the Black Ink Gallery? Um, wow. How the fuck do you know about the Black Ink Gallery? Okay, Black Ink Gallery is a tattoo shop in Harlem where we all used to just hang out at 113th. What about GMB Studios? GMB Studios, they my dog, Sean B. How the fuck do you know this? How? Hold on, bro. How? Who the fuck is this motherfucker, bro? Like, talk to me, bro. <laughs> you the police? <laughs> is you the LBI? CIA? What's your you are Black Yuckster, we have to know. Your uncle is amazing. Who? Your uncle. How you know him? Well, you are that baby, we have to know. All right, all right, yeah, set out the rig. Is this where it all started, <laughs> right here, with the rump shaker? <laughs> Pharrell, is this where we started? Pharrell Williams, the rump shaker. Yeah. This is this is this is one of the most impressive interviews I've ever experienced in my life. That motherfucker does his homework. Well, so huh? much, it's great to be able to talk to you guys. This is this is insane, man. Do you know a guy called Cannon? Day. You heard that? Cannon? Oh shit. Please explain. Yeah, that's crazy. This dude said Cannon. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Cannon. Old. That's one of the dudes I start rapping with. My dude Antonio. Yeah. Wow. That's eighth grade. That's seventh grade. What about Louisiana chicken? <laughs> that's the yeah, Louisiana chicken. That's the neighborhood. Yeah. That's my that's my favorite. Yeah. And it's like bulletproof glass? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you order there? I ordered the number three. It's a three piece with the fries and the lemonade. And Kirk Lamar, there's also Tams and Rite Aid, too. The Rite Aid. Definitely grew up in Tams and Rite. This dude right here is really doing his research, though. This, this is crazy. Facts. Yeah, Tams and Rite Aid. I get the chili they cheese fries. I'm going to go to the Rite Aid. Rite Aid, I just get a bunch of milk for my little brothers and stuff like that. For you, little Uzi, a Rob Zombie poster. I really like this movie, but why'd you pull this out? I know this from last time, you know this, so everybody know this. But how do you know this? Well, you a little Uzi Vert. We have to know it. I'm glad I'm a good guy, because if I was under investigation for something, I'd be scared right now. How do you know that? They don't even know that. I don't even talk to them about that. Guns Garcia. Yo, he know too much. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> what Kanye do? Kyle McNutt. Kyle McNutt. Jason Probst. Jason Probst. <laughs> I love Jason. Brendan Clevenger. Oh, Brendan Clevenger. How do you know all these people? Rusty. Rusty. Hart. Hart. You are Post Malone. We have to know these people. Incredible. How do you know these guys? Machine Gun Kelly, I want to give you a gift to welcome you to Austin, Texas. Okay. Here we have, right here, an autographed to you anti-flag vinyl record. Oh, shit. No, is this for real? Yes, to Machine Gun Kelly. Autographed. Man, you have... Oh, my God. How did you even know? Wait, I never even said that I like... I never even publicly stated. You're Machine Gun Kelly. People know. God, so I, I think he fucking knows all this shit about artists that they don't tell anybody. How, like, how the, I don't know what the fuck's going on. To me. I don't know who the fuck this motherfucker is, and he seems to be shocking the hell out of these motherfucking celebrities about the <laughs> information he got on them, bro. Buddy, is the feds for real, bro? Your dad, destiny of a black race. Wow, that's yo. What? Quote. You publicly stated. You're Machine Gun Kelly. People know. God. 
And quote, your dad, destiny of a black race? Wow, that's, yo, this is blowing minds right now. This is crazy. Like, that's a book um, my dad wrote, like, in the 90s. He lives in Kenya now? Yeah, he just moved to Kenya. <laughs> this is amazing. Ugly God, quote, sad dad, young pussy baker, hermit crab. Wait, hold up. How you know that? Young Hermit Crab. How you know about that? My rap name, oh my gosh. I was Young Hermit Crab for a week. For a week. And you know this. Wow. I don't even know what the hell this you is. Remember that? Did you have a teacher called Mrs. Here? Whoa. My Spanish teacher? Is it from high school? Yeah. <laughs> she had the big titties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that her? That's what I was curious about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I remember she was my Spanish teacher. Um, she had the big tits. I remember, yeah. Yeah. And she was actually Spanish. I wonder where the fuck she's at. That's fucking crazy. How the fuck you know that, bro? <laughs> You're Travis Scott. We have to know. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Is these it time genuine for you ass reactions from these artists, bro. This is dope as fuck. Bro. Tire. No. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Is it time for you to retire? No. Yes, it is. Why is that? Because Sai retweeted you. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah, you knew about that, huh? How did you know about that? Well, you are Rich Chica. We have to know. Well, you are John. I have to know. Yeah, that's right. Babu, your manager at McDonald's, what rap group was he in? I don't know, but I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't know. I don't, he, I don't remember. But I know what you're talking about. I don't remember. And he showed his trunk? I, bro, how the fuck <laughs> do you know that, bro? You love malls. <clears throat> uh, not really. Like garden malls in Florida. Garden malls. Aha! Uh -huh, shit! Cheesecake well, I said, dog, if he knows shit like this, he probably knows some shit that motherfuckers don't need to be knowing, bro. <laughs> if he's shocking motherfuckers like this. Oh, let's see if he get a reaction out of future old laid back ass. Do you like cheesecake at all? I love cheesecake. I love cheesecake at nighttime, real late at night. Cheesecake could do, man. Top it off before you go to sleep. <laughs> what flavor of cheesecake do you like future? Just the regular one, original. What does that taste like? Just full on cheese? Uh, it tastes like cheesecake. <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> That's the word you're looking for. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, sensational. Now, Marilyn Manson, he inspired your grills? Yeah, my. F he inf oh, that's crazy. They're my old ones. Like, Damn, man, you're weird. <laughs> you're weird. Like, why do you know that? Little Skies, Paul Mason, did he introduce you at age four to a Jay-Z beat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to, that's like my uncle. Shout out to him. That's crazy. Know what the what fuck? <laughs> oh, no. I was like, how does he know that? That's crazy, though. Were you called Static Shock? <laughs> at a basketball game. <laughs> yeah, they was calling me Static Shock. <laughs> that's crazy. I was talking about that. Was I just talking about that? Yeah. Where was that? In Brooklyn? Yeah, at Brooklyn Collegiate. Yeah. <laughs> so it was at an OJ Dajusman gig that you met Zaytoven. Yeah. Nah, I met Zaytoven. I met Zaytoven. Oh. Yes, it was. Oh, obsession. You tripping. Two man had a show. We met him at the, on the side and we tapped. And we tapped out. You tripping. In the club. Obsession. The first time we ever seen him. The first time we ever seen Zay was in Obsession. To Zay. But you got some, you got a hell of a research, bro. I ain't know that. I forgot that. Yeah, yeah. We gotta know. You were a grinder, weren't you, Jimmy? Were you a grinder? <laughs> I was grinding. How do you know stuff like how do you know stuff like that? <laughs> you be grinding on the floor of the skating rink. Because you were grinding on beds. Yes, uh, I used to grind beds. Yes, I did used to grind beds. Could you please explain about the grinding on the beds? Um, I used to take the bed and throw it into a big machine that chopped it into a million pieces. Your godmother, her husband, did he make satellites? Yes, for the government. Oh my God, that's crazy that you know that. Yeah, yeah. Rockville Youth Football League. Oh! 
Bro! Oh, man, yo. Do you remember that store, Bucky's? Do you know Bucky's store? Do you ever start, what's Bucky's? It's big in Texas, isn't it? Bucky's! It's like a gas station out there, like... When you take road trips to San Antonio and shit, you always stop out of Bucky's. You always getting switches from the Bucky's. You always getting like, that's crazy thing to know about the Bucky. That's wild. Trippy, what about XXYYXX? How do you, like, what the fuck? I don't even tell nobody I listen to that shit. Uh, well, you were Trippy Red. We have to know. Yeah. You have to on some weird shit. You always on some weird shit, not weird. Yeah, I honestly I appreciate this because I've always wanted to do this with you. But you're weird. But I love you. You were a bus boy at Shoney's. Yes, you know a lot. I mean, you like you like the. You're not working with the people, right? You're not with the people. I'm from Vancouver, BC, Canada. Okay, I just want to make sure you ain't with the people. Snoop Doggy Dog, what can you tell the people about this VHS cassette right here? I was curious. Did you put this out? Oh my Kev, this is what the fuck I've been trying to find. <laughs> my Smoke Fest Volume 1. This is the first one I ever put out, cuz. Where did you find this? Look, this is the first one that I put out. This is my first movie that I directed, put up the money for, shot it. See what it say on the back? Writer, director, and executive producer Snoop Doggy Dog. You don't even have a copy yourself? No, I don't. The first time you did weed, did you get robbed? Yeah. I did get. How do you know that? Did you, did you, okay. Yeah, I did, man. It was a fucked up situation. Now, did you almost get arrested with Mavadado? <laughs> uh, I think his I think his name is Mavado. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I almost did get arrested because in Jamaica at a stage show. Um, the way the police monitor the shows is they try not to incite the crowd so they don't like you to swear and obviously you know my first thing i was just excited to be in jamaica so i started you know cussing up a storm and uh yeah they were about to arrest me the illest hour radio show what the fuck <laughs> wh bro you talk about my high school wh oh. jalen the illest what the fuck <laughs> This is gold, bro. What the fuck? How? I bet this is dope as hell. No, are, how? Man. How do you? Well, you are Juice World. We have to know. Ski Mask. Who else have you met in the bathroom? I know you met Nas in the bathroom. I did meet Nas in the fucking bathroom. How the fuck does he know that, bro? Your aunt Betty did security. What the fuck? How the fuck you know this? <laughs> God damn, bro. You the fans, bro. <laughs> Well, you are Denzel Curry. We have yeah, to know. Today. But your Aunt Betty security? Bruh, you like the fucking feds right now, though. Chauncey. <laughs> Don't you even know niggas from our block? Whoa! <laughs> Denzel Curry. That was the best one. That was the best one, bro. <laughs> that was the best one, dog. I got to see that again, dog. Look at his eyes. Pretty? Bro, his eyes. you like the fucking feds right now, though? Chauncey. <laughs> dog, you even know niggas from my block? Whoa! Yo! Denzel Curry. Yo! Oh, bro, that's hard. Yeah! That's hard. That's hard. That's so hard. Is it true logic they used to rap at the Joe's Chicken Crab Shack? Joe's Crab Shack, yes. So you rapped and you worked at it? What was those clips of you rapping at a crab shack? Yeah, man. I, uh, damn, not what I fuck, man. You're also digging the modern sounds of war paint, aren't you? Dude! How the fuck do you know? How do you know this, bro? How do you know? Oh, my God. Well, your logic, we have to know. The nasty song by Little Rue. I love that song. How do you know these things? <laughs> well, you are Megan the Stalin. Yeah. We have to know. <laughs> you also delivered pizza to Killer Mike, right? <laughs> what? Yes, 100%. 100%. Yes. Okay. I, why, do you, why do you know this? Well, you are Jit. We have to know. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> Hazel Stern. Stephanie. And you were at her house watching TV? Thank you, Stephanie. That's fucking weird. She taught me about anime. What happened? I didn't know that. Well, you were Rico Nasty. We have to know. That's a little bit sus. YG, <laughs> thank you, Big B. I don't B. know what the fuck that was. Big B. 
Big B. Big B. How you know about Big B? Your YG, we have to know about Big B. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that's what's up. Quote, Mrs. K. <laughs> Ms. Gray, one of my favorite teachers. Uh, how you know about Ms. K? You, you do your research. You lived also near Roscoe's. Near Roscoe's. Yeah, yeah. How you know that? You stalking me? Well, you are a blue face. We have to know. Hey. Bob. Good answer, Bob. You like Alice Coltrane. I do. I and do. the Dresden Dolls. I know. Oh, yes, I... What the... <laughs> How do you know that? That's, look, listen, all the other questions, since now I've been like, this. he just looked up my Google or whatever. Bro, how do you know Dresden dolls? Well, you were a Doja Cat. We have to know. A gift, because you love the Flintstones, don't you? And the Flintstones from 1972. How you know this? Well, you were a young thug, we have to know. Uh, what's the connection quickly between you and the Flintstones? We both quick on our feet. Little Wayne, what about food? Have you ever considered or been approached by the Rap Snacks Company? Because here's some rap snacks. Miss Toy, a rapper, it was on the Up and Smokes tour. She has her own rap snacks, and the Big Timers had rap snacks chips too. They sure fucking did. The Big Timers <laughs> chips, they really did. They, they did. Sour cream and dill. I don't remember the flavor, but they had their own rap snacks. You're not lying. I guess I was wondering there, Waka, do you good. still like salt and vinegar chips? Yo, this guy's crazy. How do you know that, man? <laughs> I love them. That's my favorite chips. I have a quote for you, Waka and Wuda Kid. Here it is. She's a tiger-striped <laughs> pit bull. Rima Major. That's what we called Rima Major. A tiger-striped pit bull. Oh, but you just fucked me up. Like, how did you this guy's really on it, man? This is a lady that you love, isn't it, right here? Uh, I love this woman more than... Is this autographed? It is. Is this for me? Uh, actually, I think it says to Nardwar, does it? Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought, I just, wow, this is amazing. Who is this right here? This is Pam Greer. This is Pam Greer, coffee. Pam Greer. Yeah, this is coffee. And this right here, this woman, like, oh, man, this is going to sound so weird. But when I first discovered what masturbation was, I used to jerk off to... Um, to Pam Greer. And now you have not bad one to jerk off to, bro. Oh, I don't know. shit back yeah. in the day. Yeah. I don't necessarily. Tyler, what do you like to eat? Raleigh's Restaurant. Oh, nigga. Uh-uh. Nigga, we just stopped by Raleigh's the other day. Me and this nigga Lionel would drive all the way from Hollywood. <laughs> Lionel. Lionel. We, listen. Listen. We would drive from motherfucking Hollywood all the way to Hawthorne, California. El Segundo. Hawthorne Boulevard to go get the motherfucking barbecue bacon cheeseburger. And that shit was, what, two forty nine, bro? Nigga, they stopped selling that bitch three months ago. So anybody at Raleigh's, if you could bring that bitch back, I'm telling you, you have a fucking loyal customer. Stop fucking playing with me, nigga. But is there only rallies? What else is there? Like, rallies or nothing? What? I, oh, you got me fucking twisted. <laughs> I don't know nothing about Nardwar, man, but um, that shit was entertaining as fuck, man. Uh, that shit was crazy, man. I don't know shit about Nardwar, bro, but that shit was fire as hell, bro. Seeing all their... Like or like, just their genuine reactions to motherfuckers' information blowing their goddamn minds, bro. Yeah, that was dope. That was dope. Appreciate y'all putting me on. I'm out.